spirit We need you, we need you, we wait on you Oh spirit, we wait on you Holy Spirit, you are welcome here Come and do what only you can do in our hearts. Stir something new. We are ready for you to move. Holy Spirit, you are welcome here. Come and Wow, 
Oh Lord, our God, you are so powerful, you are so mighty, you are so great, you are so awesome. Lord, we worship you, we adore you. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for your mercies that are new every morning, allowing us to be together on this platform, that we may continue hearing your voice, hearing your word, praying together, encouraging one another, O oh God, all the more as we see the day approaching, the day of your second coming. Lord, we thank you. We adore you. We commit ourselves to you today. We ask that you may speak to us, that you may encourage us, Lord. We ask for the power to pray today, O oh God, that even this hour as we pray, as we seek your will, O oh God, may you minister to us. And if there be anyone who is sick, may you heal them. If there be anyone in need, may you meet them at their point of need. You are a wonderful God. We surrender ourselves to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. What a joy, what an honor, what a privilege to have you join us for our prayer devotion. Thank you so much for always making time and setting aside this time and this moment and scheduling it that it is a time for prayer and for devotion just to kickstart your day. I know probably you have prayed, but also this can be used as a jumpstart to your day. So thank you for joining us. Well, today is day three. We thank God, so far so good. And this week we are looking at victorious life, victorious life. The scripture says in 1 Corinthians 15, 57, but thanks be to God who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Thanks be to who? To God who gives us victory through, through our Lord Jesus Christ, not through our pastor, not through our parents, not through our, my husband or my spouse, not through our children, through our Lord Jesus. Jesus Christ. And this week, we are going to be looking at the victorious life. Now that we are Christians, now that we celebrated Easter, now that we looked at the resurrection of Christ a few weeks ago and the power of the resurrection, we are asking ourselves, this power of the resurrection, it is at work within us, the Bible says. So how am I to live in light of the resurrection? How can this power help me to live and to walk victoriously as a Christian and to overcome the enemy, trouble, situations to overcome all that comes my way that is trying to interfere with my walk with God. So today we are looking at power to walk in righteousness. God has given us power to walk in righteousness. Listen to the scripture. For the grace of God, Titus 2, 11 to 14. For the grace of God has appeared, to, has appeared that offers salvation to all people. He teaches us to say no to ungodliness and worldly passions and to live self-controlled, upright, and godly lives. In this present age, while we wait for the blessed hope, the appearing of the glory of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, who gave himself for us to redeem us from all wickedness and to purify for himself a people that are his very own, eager to do what is good. Wow. There we see. Jesus, that he redeemed us and he continues to purify us for himself so that we are his very own, eager to do what is good, eager to do what is good. That is the power to walk in righteousness. You know, the New Testament has two types of righteousness. There is the imputed righteousness where you are the righteousness that comes as a result of you receiving Jesus. That's why the Bible says that that Jesus is the righteousness of God. We were yet, we were, the Bible talks about us being a new creature where we get the righteousness of God, where we become the righteousness of God as a result of Christ's sacrifice. So when you receive Jesus as your Lord and your Savior, there is a righteousness that comes upon you. But now there is another righteousness that is called the righteous living. There is a righteous living, acts of righteousness, living what you believe, living as per the standards that have been set by God. That is the work of righteousness. And so we are looking at the power to walk in this righteousness. Eager to do good, the Bible says. Eager to do right. Eager to do what is pleasing to God. Eager to say no to ungodliness. That is walking in righteousness. And you cannot do that on your own power. You cannot read a book on how to overcome. You cannot uh, claim that this is power that you have. God gives us this power. And we have to be at a place of asking the Lord 
to give us the power to walk in righteousness because it is not easy. We are living in a world the Bible talks about the the enemies that are that are against the Christians. The things that are against our walk with God. The pride of life, the lust of the eyes, the desires of the sinful nature. That evil trinity is against the children and the church of Jesus Christ. And today we are telling the Lord we need the power to walk in righteousness. So even as we pray, pray for yourself that God will give you that power, that we will activate that power, that we may walk in right living, so that we may represent Christ to the fullest, so that we may say no to ungodliness, we may say no to wicked passions, we may say no to things that are not godly, and we may say yes to self-control, to uprightness, to godly living, you know, to doing what is good, God is able to help us to live in such a manner. Shall we pray? Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you. We thank you first of all because you have given us victory. Victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, thanks be to God who has given us, who continues to give us victory, victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you that today, Lord, you are willing to help us. You are willing to activate this power that is within us, the power to walk in righteousness. Many a times we think, Lord, that it is okay to walk in unrighteousness. We find ourselves speaking unrighteous things, talking unrighteous things, behaving in an unrighteous manner, oh God. Today you are reminding us that there is the power to walk in righteousness. That because we are Christians, we have the power to live like Christ. We have the power to do like Christ. We have the power to demonstrate Christ-likeness, Lord, in our individual lives, in our families, in our workplaces, in our schools and colleges and universities. Father God, you are telling us the power is available. So Lord, I pray that Lord, you may activate this power in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, activate this power because it is there. Everyone who is a believer, that power resides within them. The power to say no to ungodliness is within us. It is us who choose not to say no. We choose to say yes to ungodliness. We choose to say yes to passions of wickedness, Lord. We choose to gratify the desires of the sinful nature. Lord, we know we can say no to ungodliness, but we choose not to. Help us. Help us, help us, help us. Because that power is within us. Let it start working. Let it be activated. Help us to feed that power so that it will help us, oh God. Because, Father, the power we feed is the power that will be stronger. We cannot claim to be feeding the power of the sinful nature and expect the power of the spiritual man to be stronger. Father, it's a deception, a lie from the pit of hell. I pray that you will help us to embrace the power and to believe that this power is within us and to pray that it will be activated, that you will help us to demonstrate this power, to walk in the power of the Holy Spirit, to demonstrate the power of the Holy Spirit, O oh God. Thank you for the power to walk in righteousness. Thank you for the power, the eagerness to do good is within us. Increase that eagerness. Increase the eagerness to say no to bribes, Increase the eagerness to say no to gossip. Increase the eagerness to say no to the acts of unrighteousness. And increase the eagerness to say yes to everything, everything that is worthy, everything that is praiseworthy, everything that is noble, everything that is good, everything that is commendable, everything that is godly, everything that is desirable in the eyes of God. Thank you for the power to walk in righteousness. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, we pray and we believe. Amen and amen. Thank you so much for joining us. Go walk in power. It is within you. Demonstrate it. Live it. In Jesus' name. Come with your revival. Holy Spirit power. We need your power today Holy Spirit power Holy Spirit power Holy Spirit
spirit power we need your power today come with your refreshing come with your revival holy spirit power we wait on you today Come with your revival, Holy Spirit. 